What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Mark Hunter and Lou Lamarillo officially leaving the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now you guys know I've been covering this, I've made a couple videos on it already. I'm sorry I'm super late to this topic, I know usually with the Leaf stuff, I'm one of the first people to get... Um, starting filming videos and posting it but I was incredibly busy today got some grad stuff to do so I apologize for that but let's get right into this video um also, I, I thought I would mention thank you guys very much for 2,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. It's so cool to hit that milestone. I've uh, been waiting a while to do it. I've uh, been putting in the work, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. Let's get to 3,000 ASAP. Let's do it. Um, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, let's uh, let's start off with Lou Lamarillo. Now, we all knew this was coming because of the fact that it was said a long time ago that once... Uh, his three years was up, he was going to take over another position with the Toronto Maple Leafs, and Kyle Dubas eventually was the guy that was going to take over, and Lou Lamarillo said that himself. And it happened. Kyle Dubas was the, is now the new GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs, and Brendan Shanahan said it himself today. He knew he was probably going to lose uh, the other two when he uh, hired, you know, if he kept Lamarillo, he might have lost Hunter and um, Dubis. Maybe maybe he would have kept Hunter, but he probably would have lost Dubis if they kept going with uh, Lamarillo. If they hired Hunter, Dubis probably would have went somewhere else and Lamarillo probably would have left as well. And now with Dubas being there, we now know that Lamarillo and Hunter are gone. Uh, so Lamarillo is going to work with the New York Islanders. First of all, he was incredible with the Toronto Maple Leafs, put in a lot of great work and was a, a class act with the organization. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting him, shaking his hand and taking a picture with him. Incredible guy. Wish Lou all the best. Um, some interesting news, though, regarding that he is taking over as uh, the Islanders president of hockey operations. He actually has spoken to John Tavares. Now, we're not sure if the Leafs are players in the John Tavares uh, market yet. Of course, it's way far away from that. Uh, if I was to make an opinion uh, or a choice or whatever, uh, say my piece about it, I do not think that the Leafs are going to be heavy contenders for Tavares. And now with Lula Amarillo coming on board uh, and talking to Tavares, he obviously wants to keep Tavares there. He wants this team to get better. Now, Steve Dangle uh, brought this up on his podcast saying that just because, or it was Steve or, or Adam or even Jesse, I, I, I'm thinking it was, it might have been Adam or Steve though, um, saying just because Lou Lamarillo is with the Islanders now, that does not mean that John Tavares is like, oh, Lou's on board, that's it, We, I'm staying. You know, there is another side to that where it could be, um, oh, well you know, this is good. The Islanders are actually showing that they're trying to get better. They're bringing in a really good hockey mind to help Garth Snow if he stays there or whatever. You know, this team's going to get better if Lou Lamarillo is the guy that's going to guide us to the next step. So that might be good for Tavares to see that Lamarillo is coming in and trying to make a difference and talking to him. So if him and Tavares are talking and, you know, he now Lamarillo is with the Islanders and everything seems to be going right for them... Tavares might be thinking, okay, now we're we're cooking. They're actually making some moves because that's been the biggest thing. As everybody said, John Tavares wants to see this team get better, and he's not going to sign if he doesn't believe that they're going to make changes. So Lou Lamarillo is step one for them, and I think that it's a good move for him and for the Islanders. The next uh, person we're going to talk about is, of course, Mark Hunter, uh, the guy who was basically running all the drafts for the Toronto Maple Leafs. He was basically the head scout. He was doing all the work to, to find prospects, and he did a fantastic job. And uh, I just want to quickly read a uh, Bob McKenzie tweet that clears up some things for you. The terms of Mark Hunter's departure from Toronto are that he can't work for another NHL team until July 15th or later. Um, only he knows for sure, but sense I get is Hunter may sit tight in London until he can get an NHL jo GM job or work for a, cl a club where there's a good chance to do so. So... Uh, they let him go. Apparently, uh, Hunter offered to do all the drafting and scouting um, for the upcoming NHL draft. But I, I think it was also Bob McKenzie that tweeted, why would the Leafs want uh, Hunter to do all of this when he could easily leave afterwards and, you know, give all the intel and all that stuff like that? Or you know, draft poorly. I'm sure he wouldn't do that, but at the same time, the Leafs want to have their guys take over now, whoever they bring in or whoever they're going to use. Um, 
I'm sure Dubis has already filled some holes already, and he's got some guys on the phone that he's been waiting to bring up from, you know, the OHL and other places. I think Tim and Sid were saying that as well. I've been listening to a lot of sports, and I'm going to continue to do that tomorrow. I'm actually planning on waking up a bit earlier and trying to listen to as many podcasts and TSN and Sportsnet just so I can get all the information to keep making more videos on this and other things. Uh, that's something I've been meaning to bring up in a live stream. But um, this for Mark Hunter just shows that he was interested in at least helping the Leafs, but the Leafs were like, eh, you know, we're not sure. And I, I think that Hunter's going to be fantastic wherever he goes. And, of course, I believe he is, if not the majority owner, but he has huge ownership in the London Knights. So uh, he's going to be there for a little bit, help out uh, like he usually does. And then when an, an opening comes up for the NHL, he's going to uh, bounce on that because he is fantastic at what he does. He's great at... Uh, scouting and drafting and whatnot and I'm sure he'll be a fantastic GM so those two left again I wish them all the best I'm a huge Leaf fan and I'm a fan of Hunter and Lamorello but I am also a big fan of Kyle Dubas and I think he's going to take this team to the next level I'm very excited for this offseason let me know what you guys think Leaf fans or just NHL fans in general what do you guys think of this move if you're new make sure you subscribe I love to have more hockey conversations with you I'll see you guys in the next video stream peace